Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel, Handmaids and More. If you're new here, my name is Peg and I love to do DIY projects that are budget friendly and create some really beautiful high-end looking home decor. If you like that kind of thing, I hope you consider subscribing, sticking around, giving me a like, tap that notification bell, the whole nine yards. You know what to do, it's YouTube. So anyway, let's uh, get comfortable, get cozy, grab a cup of coffee, grab your crafts and let's get on into crafting. Okay, jumping on into DIY number one. Um, I'm going to take two um, of these pizza cardboards, you know, that you get from like frozen pizzas or whatever. Um, I'm actually gonna end up using three all together, but right now we're gonna start with two and we're just gonna hot glue those together and I'm gonna use my little Dollar Tree clamps here just to make sure um, that everything is set up and the glue dries well before I move on to the next step. Then I'm gonna take some of this burlap that I got from Walmart and I'm going to trace out the section that I need. Um, I'm not gonna cover the entire thing. I'm only gonna cover a portion of um, the pizza cardboard here. Um, and the other part I'm gonna cover with the, um, oh gosh, I've already lost my words, the Dollar Tree cork board that has the self-adhesive to it. So I'm just taking my rotary knife and um, cutting a section of it that I want. And I wanted to cut enough of it um, so that I can fold it over the back of um, the cardboard. And you'll see me doing that right here. So I'm just gonna take um, my hot glue and um, hot glue it to the back of there and you'll see me cut um, little strips um, every now and again because that way it doesn't like bunch up um, in the front of the project um, and also I kept turning it over around to the front side because I didn't want to pull too hard on one side and then it make the little squares kind of off centered or off and honestly they ended up being a little bit off anyway um, maybe nobody else would notice I noticed because I'm kind of like very particular like that so um, anyway I just go around the whole thing and then um, glue that on the back side and then I'm going to um, get ready and trace out the cork board portion that I'm going to be putting um, just right below that. Actually, I'm going to kind of overlap it just a little bit. So I'm taking my little Sharpie marker here, just tracing that out. And I thought um, that I was going to like save some time and use my rotary cutter to cut out this cork board, but I, it didn't end up working out. So after a few minutes of, you know, trying to get this to, to cut smoothly and evenly, I gave up and I just broke out the, the scissors. So anyway, I just peeled off the back there and attached it to um, the board. And now I'm going to take some of this um, nautical rope, uh, nautical jute rope that you get from the Dollar Tree. I mean, you can get it anywhere, but um, this one happens to come from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to go around the entire piece with this nautical jute rope. Um, and then that's going to, um, A, give it, you know, a little bit better look, but it's also going to um, cover up, you know, the sides of the cardboard that I glued together. And what inspired me to do this is I don't have a Dollar Tree near me. Um, I have to travel 45 minutes to an hour to get to one and it's a very small one and they never have all of the cool supplies that I see all over YouTube. So I have to get creative and make my own, um, you know, quote, round boards that look like wood or whatever. But um, I've, I I'm gluten free so I buy gluten free frozen pizza um, and so we have a lot of these little pizza boards and I save them because they're a perfect circle they're easy to work with and you can create a whole bunch of things with these and I mean why not you know so I didn't like the way that the back of it looked so I just took a third one and I was just gonna hot glue it over the back I know nobody's gonna see it but it bothered me enough that I wanted to cover it up and I have a plethora of these things that I've been collecting to save for projects and here they are I'm finally getting to use them and um, make some really cool stuff um, and I've got a couple other um, DIYs coming up so I'm gonna put these little clamps on um, that third piece that I glued on the back and let that glue set up and dry and then we are gonna move on to the really fun part so um, oh 
before we do, we gotta put a little hanger. So I just took a little piece of jute twine and um, made a little hanger on the back. Um, this thing is like light as a feather, so it doesn't need anything super sturdy. So I got these stencils. They came um, just like you see there, the welcome and the blessed, and I've used them on multiple things. And they have like the sticky side to the back. I don't know if I got these at like Ross or TJ Maxx or if I got these at Hobby Lobby once upon a time. I've had them for a while. Anyway, I'm gonna take my um, We're Really Chalk Paint in ink and um, my little sponge brush and I'm gonna be careful not to get too much on the brush right away because I didn't want it to bleed through I don't think it would bleed through because of the stencil is sticky itself um, and then it's like that cork board like really absorbed it but you can always like build up your layers if you need to um, but anyway, I just went over it until it looked like everything was pretty even toned and then there's my favorite part peeling it off Oh, it's my favorite um, And then I'm gonna take this super skinny Twine that I'm always talking about that I don't know the name of anyway That's what I used to tie my bows with so I cut out several strips of various ribbon from the Dollar Tree and Walmart um, and then I'm just going to pinch it, the bow in the middle, and I'm going to tie a knot around there to make my little messy bow and fluff it out. And, um, and then once I get that tied on, I couldn't decide on the placement. I, so at the bottom of the sign where the nautical rope met, there was just a hint of a gap there and it really bothered me so I was like oh I'm gonna put it down there and cover that up with the bow but then I was like no I think the bow should go at the top I didn't know if it should go at the tippy top so I decided after several minutes of playing with it um, that I was gonna place it kind of off to the side um, as you'll see there and then I just hot glued that on and then I was like okay we need a pop of color in here it's it's pretty neutral which I do love but I also love a little pop of color here and there so I took some of this um, eucalyptus that I got from Walmart and um, I just kind of played around with the placement and then you'll see me just hot gluing those in place there um, it was a little more difficult than I thought because of the leaves of the eucalyptus how they're like so um, firm and they kind of like poke up off the thing I couldn't really find a great way to um, make them stay put where I wanted them to so lots of hot glue lots of patience and then finally um, I think I ended up getting it where I wanted it and you'll see that here but I just thought it needed that little extra pop of color in there and here I am struggling with the placement you know doing my thing and then I finally um, get all the pieces that I wanted in there and then um, I decided that the little center of um, where I tied that bow needed something extra to cover up um, you know where I tied it before so I just took some jute twine wrapped it around my finger a couple times um, tied it off and then cut the little um, oh you know the, the little loop parts so it would be all crazy like my bow is um and then i was like okay i was really struggling with that little gap there at the bottom so what i did is i took some of that white jute twine jute twine jute rope um that you can get i think pretty much anywhere i think i may have gotten this at hobby lobby a long time ago and then i just ran one simple little line all the way um, around this piece just to fill in that little um space that you can see there and um yeah i think it turned out pretty cute you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below and if you're still with me thank you so much for sticking around and i hope that um you consider subscribing if you're not already and here's my piece. I love it. It's adorable. It's lightweight. Um, I still feel like I need to add a little something to the bottom there. Not sure what that would be yet. So you'll have to let me know. Would you add something to the bottom to kind of cover up that little gap where the rope meets? Or would you just leave it as is? Okay, so I'm starting out with a one by eight by six piece of um, wood here and I cut it down to 24 inches. And then I'm just gonna stain it with the Minwax Special Walnut, making sure to get all of the sides, the front, the back, everything, and it's gorgeous. And then 
I'm just going to take a piece of copy paper and print it off this little design out of Canva and I'm going to take my Arteza, Arteza, whatever <laughs> transfer paper because this girl does not have a Cricut. Do y'all feel bad for me? I know, right? Bless my heart. I'm going to just center it on here and get to tracing because I'm so excited to get this piece done because I have been wanting something like this in my kitchen forever. So I'm just tracing over um, the words and then um, all the little design there, making sure it went through. And then once I made sure it went through, I've got my um, Waverly chalk paint here in white, I believe it was. I don't remember if it was white or plaster. I think it was white. Anywho, I've got my little teeny paintbrush that I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring in the lines, which, y'all, this is very therapeutic for me. I don't know about y'all, but um, it's like I can just check out mentally and focus on my lines and excuse my big head here in the way. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and color everything in and then you'll see here in a minute for the little teeny rotten, I got this little paint marker. It's an ultra fun white paint marker at Walmart. Um, you can pick it up probably anywhere. And then I'm just going to go over the little teeny section. I didn't want to show you all that because ugh, it's like watching paint dry, like pun intended, but anyway now i've got some um ribbon here that i picked up um a long time ago i think at hobby lobby and i just hot glued the back of one side of it and then i'm gonna you know wrap it around kind of you know all across each other and i was like oh do i want to add some jute twine just for contrast of color but i ended up not doing that in the end and um now that i've got that wrapped i'm going to end up doing that on both sides um the you know the x figure or whatever um with the rope there or the twine or i don't even know what to call it you can see what it is anyway and then i'm going to take um some of these florals that i got from walmart um and then i had a couple other picks um from walmart and then some from dollar tree but you'll just see me here i'm just kind of like playing around with it and I used that as like, I didn't want to hot glue my, the florals down. So you'll just see me trying to figure out how I'm going to like put it in there and then use the jute twine or string or whatever, um, to hold my florals in place. That way, if I want to, um, take them out and, you know, change out the florals, I can do that. So now I'm going to grab some of these lilac picks from the Dollar Tree that I got. Um, super cute, super like very delicate looking, um, very feminine. I loved them. So I'm just going to snip off a couple of pieces here and then um, I'm also going to be putting those in there with the boxwoods that I got from Walmart. And you'll just see me trying to rearrange it and figure out how I like it. And here it is, cute little look at this adorable piece. And here I'm just going in on the other side. I didn't add any florals to that side, but I wanted to um, put some of those crisscross um, on the other end too to kind of balance it out. And then I'm gonna find the center and I'm gonna put a sawtooth hanger on here and that's how I'm gonna hang it in my kitchen. And I was kind of on the struggle bus with this one. So finally got it in, flipped it back over put my florals back in there and this piece is so super cute I can't even stand it but of course it wouldn't be complete without some kind of bow so I had this raffia bow that I um raffia raffia I don't know how you say it that I had um, pulled off of another piece but of course if I didn't have that I could always create one myself and I thought you know what it needs just a little extra touch on there and then plus it would help hide um the bottom of the florals um, even though I didn't glue the florals down but you'll see me hot gluing um, that raffia bow here I guess I say raffia I don't know um, anyway um, I'm just putting that down in place um, and then I can still you know I'm still able to switch out the picks if I wanted to and I love how it turned out I, you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below thank you for hanging out with me today and until next time keep crafting me.
again. Just wanted to say thanks again for stopping by and taking the time to spend with me today. I hope that you were inspired by some of these projects and I hope that if you do recreate some of these that you show me, let me know. I would love to see it. I love getting inspiration from everyone's ideas. Even if you put just a little bit of a different spin on it, I would love to see it. And I realize that I talk with my hands a lot. Sorry guys, I hope I'm not like making y'all sick, but that's me. Anyway, thanks again for stopping by and I can't wait to see you again. Take care. I just wanted to pop in and say thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I hope that you come back and I hope that you like what you saw, that you were inspired to create your own stuff. And if you do, I would love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments below which one of your, um, let me know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite from today. I always have a favorite. Sometimes I don't. Always is really a strong word scratch that start over if you enjoyed today's video please give me a big thumbs up share and consider subscribing if you're not already part of the family don't forget to tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos until next time be kind to yourself and others and i'll see you in the next one bye for now